Uh, my name's Anna Burkett, and um, I guess I'm what you could call a peace camp baby. Um, this is my 15th peace camp, and I'm 16, so I don't know. I think that's pretty impressive. Three years ago, at Weber State University, um, I met some new friends. Four new girls that were all my age, um, and it was their first year. And we got along really well. Um, and throughout the week, we um, started doing not dangerous, of course, but crazy fun things in the evenings after work. There was a convenience store really close by, so we would go and we'd buy four two liters of Diet Coke and packages of Mentos and just explode them. Another thing we loved to do was go into Burger King and get crowns. And we didn't, well, we didn't exactly buy anything. And I don't know if you're technically allowed to take the crowns if you don't buy anything, but uh, we didn't see an issue with it. We, we did buy things at the end of the week because we felt kind of bad for taking the crowns. But we, <laughs> we took Burger King crowns um, and we would wear them around and we started to think, well, there's this open mic on Friday and we'd really like to do something together. What could we do? So we started thinking about it and, you know, we're like, well, we could sing, but everyone sings, so that wouldn't be too much fun. So we finally come up with the craziest thing I think I maybe have ever done. Um, we decided we were going to dance to Dancing Queen, but we um, wore our best mismatching clothes, and we put on our Burger King crowns, and we did hideous makeup, um, and we made up this ridiculous choreographed dance. See that girl? Watch that scene, dig in the dancing queen. All with moves that cheesy and sometimes more. So everyone loved it. And we all hid in like the curtains next to the stage before before the open mic so no one saw our crazy outfits. Um, and afterwards we went to Burger King and bought Sundays because we felt bad for using their crowns um, without buying anything. But for me, um, Peace Camp is a very enlightening experience and also, um, you know, it's very spiritual. But at the same time, I think some of the greatest aspects sometimes are the social ones um, and, and the joy we experience as a community. I guess that's it. That's my Peace Camp story.